Hi guys, my name is Nick and this is Nick Creation Channel. Having competitive advantages, knowing how to innovate, and through the collaboration and partnerships, an organization can make a big difference. Join me in reviewing this decentralized game platform being called The Blocks. Hi guys, we have an interesting topic today. So this is not the usual NFT game that we are reviewing. So today we will be discussing about the centralized gaming platform. This is one of the blockchain project ideas in order to come up with multiple collaboration with other organization and even introduce multiple utilities for e-token and be able to come up with an end-to-end -end governance of a project so the blocks is the next generation decentralized gaming platform that aspires to provide a comprehensive and exclusive experience for game players game developers and investors Stores. So you can see here that the Blocks Metaverse is the combination of the NFTs, GameFi. So if you would like to define GameFi, so GameFi is the evolution of the DeFi projects before. So it is a combination of gaming and DeFi, which can also be defined as a decentralized application or DApps. In short, these are the blockchain games and other projects related to that. So plus game slot. So this is the first time that and then P2E Alliance. So play to earn alliance within the platform. So the agenda for this pitch deck covers the following. So market overview, product introduction, competitors and moat. So moat is also a new term for me. And then tokenomics, initial game offering, technical architecture and roadmap. And before we end this video, I will also cover a one pager about this project, The Blocks, a decentralized gaming platform. So, here you can see the market of the traditional games in different regions globally. So, the highest is Asia Pacific with $88 billion, and followed by North America with $42 billion. This data is from 2021 Global Games Market, and the source is Nuzu. So we can see here the forecast regarding the global market from 2019 to 2023. So despite the pandemic, we can see here an upward trend which is coming from $144 billion to $200 billion. And if you will look at $204 billion, so this is just like a double of the Asia Pacific, $88 billion. So this data tells us that last 2021, the games market globally reached around $175 billion. And they believe that there will still be around 20 to 30% possible increase by 2023 based on new zoo forecast and then we can see here as well that 50 percent of the players are coming from asia pacific all right guys so here we can see the blockchain games users and volume comparison so we can first look at this yellow line so we can see that it is uptrend so this is related to the game five average users which has grown from around 400,000 or let's say around 300,000 users and after few months from may to October it reached around 1.29 million and then about the transaction volume per day so the highest transaction that was touched is around 2.27 billion so imagine how big it is so it has fluctuated coming from you know here zero to that amount of sales so we can look at the October 2021 where it was around 126.9 million per day so in the future game five will be the new engine of the gaming market it will also create a new career path for money so here we can also see the market revenue of the traditional games comparing to the game five so above we can see here that starting from 2012 we can see some familiar uh, traditional game platform here like for example the steam and it continues to evolve until 2023 and collectively this data shows that starting from 70.6 billion the market revenue has grown up to 204.6 billion and then below 
we can see here some of the GameFi product. The market revenue has started at 360 million, and then they are projecting it that at 2023 it can be around 100 billion. So most probably they're looking at the adoption of the people to this market because this is not yet popular and there are still a lot of people who are skeptical in this space so depending on how the technology will evolve and how the people accept the idea of the decentralized platforms or blockchain then who knows so this forecast you know probably can happen as well here we can see the generation of the blockchain games starting from the first gen and then the second gen where we can see the Axie, the Unchained, and the Alien Worlds. So at the beginning, it will be based on the digital collectibles from 2017 to 2019. And then 2019 to present, it's about long-term player engagement or the play to earn. And for the third gen, like what we can see from the other dev shop or organizations, so they're looking at the gaming platform, how the gaming experience can be refined like we see a lot of projects right now that are under development to be the next AAA games on the blockchain and then they are also seeing that there will be gaming platforms that can align different games that can provide multiple utilities for the project most of these are familiar to you guys but we can go through them just to list them down so the staking the nft market the play to earn and then the DAO governance that we were talking about for the past videos like how it can provide this decentralized governance where the community and the holders can also influence the decisions on setting rules and practices or even releasing the features for the platform or the game or project that they are part of so they're also looking at the gaming guild this has been also a target for most of the projects like how can they engage the gaming guilds in projects because it is crucial to build the communities the unified economics which is also interesting that i've seen in this project and then the game slots that we will also cover later so the centralized game Gaming platform. So the blocks is a user-centric blockchain gaming platform that offers a safe, convenient, and fun place to play and earn. So they're trying to have this one-stop shop, one-stop platform to enjoy multiple games. And then users will have less hassle switching games with the blocks native token. And then the game slot concept is a revolutionary solution that creates a new ecosystem. So here the DAO governance. So we can start with uh, if the dev blocks has any changes during the implementation, like for example, to prevent the game fraud. So the DAO will be responsible on the safeguard and transparency system for token holders. So they will be embedding predefined codes in the dev blocks platform. So every token holder is eligible to vote based on the proportion of the token held. And then of course, they will do some voting system. And then every vote is recorded and processed on the blockchain, which ensures transparency. So that is the concept of the DAO community. Alright, so let's go to the P2E Alliance or the Gaming Guild. What they would like to achieve here is that they have maximum utility. It will optimize its community owned assets for maximum utility and its profit with platform token holders. The next one is the DAO voting so it allows the community to participate in the DAO by passing proposals and voting and then refined solution coordinating research and development for gamers in the DAO to arbitrage on yield generation by being competitive in the games or the innovations that are coming in in the gaming market then there's a big possibility that you cannot adjust and adapt to the demand of the users and the investors. Alright, so let's go to the unified economics. So the unified economics tells us about the native token, which is DGS. So DGS is a native token on the blocks, which allows game developers and the game players to stake, trade, and mint NFTs. So, and then secure user assets for lock-in in the platform with multiple safety measures. So it's good that they're also looking at the security because these are all investments. And then they have the easy to access. So game developers will have a low barrier to launch their games on the blockchain games 
by using the game slot so the idea here is they will be partnering with other game developers giving them the platform in the concept of software development kits or sdk of course collaboration or partnership will provide win-win scenarios so switch games at your will so one platform to enjoy multiple games users have less hassle switching games with the unified tokens all right so we've covered that earlier as well so the game slot is the unique feature on the the blocks that connects various game providers and game players virtually so by using the blocks self-developed SDKs okay so like what we mentioned so game developers will be able to create various games on blockchain with lower cost and technical risks so a mature user base can drive referral traffic to the game and then free game points to the token holders at an early stage right so we have the p2e nft market and staking so the blocks promotes games that have a play to earn mechanism the gamers can earn platform tokens in the game and then the nft market is about a place to exchange all nft assets the market helps connect gamers and users the users creative way to add value to their nfts that's pretty straightforward right and then the staking is users can stake various assets on the the blocks platform to earn dgs at a high interest rate <coughs> so the blocks is unique in providing multiple features compared to other gaming platforms in the market so they can compare themselves to yushi and gamify for example not able to cover everything that are listed here so yoshi has play to earn nft market and staking and then gamify has play to earn nft market and dao governance but for the blocks they have everything that are written here and the things that are not part of yoshi and game 5 which are gaming guild unified economics and game slot are the additional value that they want to offer <coughs> all right so this is the mode so this is about the ability of the blocks to maintain the competitive advantages in order to be at the level of the competition or be on top of them and maintain the profitability in the future so, so number one is game slots more selections more game choices secure prevent game developer rug pulls and then free game points to token holders so these are the things that can cover by the game slots most probably it's related to the technical configuration and of course the kyc the the, the know your customer process that they will be doing to filter the developers that they will be partnering with and then more flexibility you know to choose the game that a player is expecting so the next one is the unified economics so native tokens dgs so this is their token so you can switch games at your will uh, play to earn and then nft markets for all of the games so i i'm curious about this but most probably they will be using dgs to be a unified token from all of the games that they expect in their platform and then the next one is p2e alliance so dao governance word of mouth more traffic and more game provider so this is how they want to build the community within the gaming platform and how they want to influence the organic growth in terms of marketing and in terms of governing the community through their through its rules and decisions to make yes so they have 1 billion tokens so this is BEP 20 crypto token and this will be used within the game so all of the activities across the blocks platform which includes exchanging game points for joining the game or earning points and trading with other tokens so it will be the dgs so these are the breakdown of the tokens so we can see here that the highest is the community treasury develop fund is the next one and then the Four contributors 19% and then the rest are less than 8% right so we talk about game slot so the max supply will be 100 there will be 100 slots they will only partner with 100 games so if you have a valid crypto wallet like metamask you can already start playing the game and it will not require tedious process so you will be able to use the games from different game providers 
within the platform right so platform avatars so they will also of course take advantage on the nft so they will have their platform avatar nft so you can also join the player club you can get airdrops of tokens or nfts and they promise other exciting benefits that will be announced in their platform so initial game offering igo so it is a public activity that the blocks raises funds by selling nft which yields premium values of the the blocks platform in two categories so avatar nft and then game slot nft so these two are requirements in order to join the the blocks community and also they will have multiple rounds offering different amount of assets each round with a tiered price structure under the igo so the igo or game offering of the avatar nfts so you can have the art you can have the privilege for airdrops and rewards you will have the identity to access the Deblox guild and you can also do some staking and then IGO game slot NFTs so it's all about ownership of the game slot which I mentioned limited to 100 and then they also have the marketplace the holders can upload their game information to the Deblox they will be able to support the games as well to promote their partners product to the game players also the NFT holder will have exposure to all Deblox users they can also have this staking and and get rewards and then for the technical architecture you can see that of course the base is the blockchain and then they have this the blocks platform which includes the game slots and then through the game slots there will be rewards through the games to the players and then you will be able to connect to the blockchain and the games by using your wallet while connecting to the nft market and then also of course DeFi is just a part of the game file it can also give you tokens and this components of course cover the game file concept all right guys so for marketing covering the branding so they have the strategic partners videos word of mouth and game guild strong DAO community and then for the acquisition they have the social media ama and game guild organic search and remarketing and paid social media key opinion leaders and for the engagements they will have it by having ama sessions game guild airdrop search engine optimization and contents so for the roadmap starting from 2021 third quarter they've initiated the platform and then for the fourth quarter they have the white paper the nft smart contract the live website and the igo so i will just put the links of their website and their white paper and then for the first quarter of 2022 to of course they are targeting this year the liquidity staking the game slot launch beta game with free game points and the mass games onboarding and then by second quarter of 2022 it's all about analytics platform p2e alliance nft marketplace and nft creator platform so they will also provide the creators or the designers most probably to use their platform in creating nft all right so for the one pager so the blocks aims to create a holistic ecosystem the next generation decentralized gaming platform backed by blockchain technology for game developers game players and crypto investors they're really looking at an end-to-end -end platform that will provide an ecosystem for you know multiple games in one community and unified token so that is for their mission and then their unique selling proposition like why we should consider them so common native token so they have one single common token and then they have limited game slots so this is a um, ethereum virtual machine compatible smart contract that will allow the game providers to provide the best gaming experience within the platform and then for the DAO this is a user-centric platform truly governed by decentralized autonomous organization where users take charge so you know that and we talk about DAO before so business description is to provide a comprehensive and exclusive experience for game players developers and investors product and services so game slots NFT marketplace stake 
working P2E Alliance and their industry is about blockchain technology and GameFi. Okay, so if you want to know more about them, so here are their links. I will put this in the description. This is a pretty exciting project, but of course, as I always remind you, always do your own research. Invest what you can afford to lose, especially this is in the early phase. I tried to ask them for LinkedIn and more details about them and they promised to share that once their DAO go governance has been created. And also they mentioned that some of their members are located in the countries that have strict rules and policies so they cannot do it now. So that is that, that's something that we need to consider. So this is in a very early stage but at this time i already thank them for engaging some of the filipinos to be part of the the team to give them the job opportunities and based on my experience they are professionals when i talk to them and if you want to know more about the project just go to the blocks.io uh, check their information here and you can also try to connect your wallet here uh, the price of an nft is around 0.1 bnb and this will give you an opportunity for airdrop and then also you can check the game slots here so you can see that there are already game examples here i think so animal racing and atlantic frenzy and then here you can start farming so you can use your dgs tokens you can actually buy it already and then for the communities you can you know go here and connect there and then the light paper is here the documentations and about us another thing that is a new update about this project is they are published in the coin market cup Publishing a project in the coin market cup means that you do your know your customer process with them and they're not just putting projects here where the team is not known and you can also see here how bullish it is in terms of the growth of the value of the tokens so it has grown from 0.096 to 0.14 dollars all right guys so this is not a financial advice make your own decision but these are the data that you can also use when you do some research about the project whether you've heard it from the word of mouth or you've seen this in the internet space we keep on seeing different blockchain project ideas and it has been a race from a different dev shops and game studios and whoever can come up with an innovative solution can definitely leave a mark in the blockchain history so what can you say about this project leave your comments below and let me know your thoughts and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell especially if you have learned something today Thanks for watching and see you on my next video. Bye!